Hello and welcome. We are going today to see how we add a computer to a domain. Our domain is formation.local. Our domain is defined here in that AD1 server, which is a domain controller. And we have a secondary domain controller here. And here in green, it's the PC called client8 that we want to add and integrate into that domain. So now we are going to see how we proceed. We have here client8, which is currently a virtual machine that is running in my environment. And now we are going to see the properties of that PC. We are going to see the properties of that PC by right clicking here on the PC, my computer, right clicking, going to properties. Within the properties, we see the name of the computer here and we see that it is defined in a workgroup. Now we want that PC to be part of the domain formation.local. We go here into modifying the parameters. And here you see that we can rename the computer or change the domain on the workgroup. So I go into modify. And as you can see, it is now defined in the workgroup. I will go and click on domain and I will add the name of the domain. On this, I click OK now. And as you can see, it requests that somebody with the administrative authorities on the domain can do that part of the work. So I will define myself since I'm a domain admin. Now it is the welcome message to the domain. So now the computer is integrated in the domain. I can just click here, OK. And it will request a restart from this PC, which I will do. Now the computer is up. We just have to log in. We managed to, to log in. Now we are going to check how the computer is defined. So it's again the same. We go to my computer here, right click, properties. And we see now that client8 is really defined in the domain formation.local. So this was the way to make a computer join a domain. Now there is one other thing that we can check. It's to go on the server itself, on the domain controller itself. Into that domain controller, we can see what happened. So first of all, we'll go to the, the domain views with Active Directory Users and Computer, that tool has to be open, and we'll check what happens in there. Once it is refreshed, you see that Client8 is also part of it. Now we are going to look at the DHCP. DHCP the same, we refresh it, and as you can see, Elise is already current with that computer. So DHCP is also fine. The last thing we want to check is the DNS. For this, I have here the DNS manager and I will go and I will check. So this was the situation previously to joining the domain. And now I just refresh the DNS server. And as you can see, it had been automatically entered into the DNS zone for the domain formation.local. So far so good. I think that with that we have now a client that has integrated our domain formation.local. I think that you can do it and test it yourself. I wish you a good luck and see you soon. Bye.